brother. How are we doing today, bud? Oh, okay. You ready to go for a ride? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll take those for me if you don't mind. Then gear? Nope. It's up against the railing. Oh no, what happened to it? I have no idea. I think it's the thermostat because it was, let me tell you what, it was doing fine. And we took it to the dump. So we flip houses and buy apartments. And we took it to the dump and the heat, you know, the temperature gauge was fine. Then I was sitting in line at the dump and it goes click, click, boom! Like all at once, like the thermostat. Huh. Is it working? So I reached down, turned on the heat, cranked the heat, you know, started stripping heat off the engine block. And I oh, let's, get, let's get you loaded up in my truck, bud. Let me get this thing loaded. Right. Make yourself at home. The air conditioning's on. Well, I appreciate you. Can I start charging? Oh, yeah. There's a port right there by your knee. Right there. Watch out, both men. It's like a truck overheated. And it's a six shift. So if I was leaving in gear, he just let it roll back here into the guardrail. So you know if he got his
did you see that? I don't know who the, I don't know who the other tow truck guy was. Behind me trying to help me. Shout out to him. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. He actually passed me, but I couldn't see no name on the truck. But did you see that? He had his lights on there, they blocking the highway, and they were actually coming around him and getting back over close to me. Freaking retarded. And he had his red and blues going too. People out here just do not care at all. And what was real bad was we was on the on ramp. And you see them people coming down the highway actually went around him and came around him and scooted back into me. But that's how freaking dangerous it is out here, folks. Very dangerous. I pulled down here off the highway on the exit ramp so I can uh, get my uh, truck shut down, you know, so I can get ready to go to Kansas with it. I'm going to show you something. See that right there? It says, I am not your next roadkill. Get off the phone and open your eyes. You freaking people on your damn cell phones need to get off of them. There was a guy that passed me. And I actually watched him, he had his laptop in his lap, playing on his damn laptop. It's freaking retarded. Oh yeah, I was getting, that's what I was going to talk to you about. Because he said something that overheated and died on him, but he backed it into a guardrail, like clutch don't work or something, or won't hold itself. What? Uh, yeah, because... smoked the fucking clutch on it already? Well, I don't know if the clutch is out or not, but where it was on the hill, he backed it into the guardrail, so that way I wouldn't have to worry about it, I guess. I don't know. Well, the parking brake doesn't work, and I guess it doesn't hold itself here in the engine. Yeah. So putting it up on top of the hill might be fun. Miles, so it's got a worn out fucking motor. Duh. And I got a work order here to pick up the Mach 1. What? what? I'm trying to get a free Mach 1. You're very funny. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. I'm a fucking... I didn't... What happened the other day was something you did with that car. Uh oh. Something bad happened with it. These old Mach 1's, man, they're a beautiful car. Oh, it's got the four speed and everything in it. Right there and right here. Got the edge of the fucking head. Oh. He said those buckle spots up here were not there before. The high yeah. spot and that one low spot. So that means it's going to need a hood. Oh. That's a crying shame. Yeah. These things are nice cars. There's no putty in this car anywhere either. She's beautiful. This would be a fun car to drive, especially with that four-speed. All right, bud, so I see you got my parking brake, so where would you like this bad boy? Granted, it's only a 351 Cleveland. It's not like it's a 429 or 428. That 351 get me in trouble just as quick as anything oh, else. Yeah. I'm going to back it straight up. Is that what you're thinking? Yep. Straight up on the hill. And when Chris Lyce put this across and came up with a 250, I'm like... They don't own any 250s. What the hell are they talking about? Yeah, he tried to tell me the weight of this thing is only like 7,000 pounds. There ain't no way it's like 7,000 pounds. I don't know what it weighs, but... I don't know. I mean, GVW is probably 11. No, 16. Yeah, it weighs more than that, I would say. Who they too?
Or actually, you can see it. The other mechanics came out and looked at it. Because I know you guys are going to ask me what was wrong with this truck. And this is why he rode it into the guardrail. Because now I have a parking brake. And right there, you can see it. That's a rod hanging out of the oil pan. The old V10 is done. But I know y'all are going to ask me what happened to it. So that's what happened to it. Alright, thanks guys. Like and subscribe.